everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this video, we will see how to create a reporting snapshot in Salesforce. A reporting snapshot lets you report on historical data. Authorized users can save tabular or summary report results to fields on a custom object, then map those fields to corresponding fields on a target object. They can then schedule when to run the report to load the custom object's fields with the report's data. Reporting snapshots enable you to work with report data similarly to how you work with other records in Salesforce. In this video, we will go over a simple example of how to create a reporting snapshot. So, let's get started. First we will create a source report. And for that, open the dashboard. Under the Reports menu, Click on New Report. A dialog box appears where you can choose your desired report type. Here, select the report type as Opportunity and click Continue. Click on All Time to get a list of all opportunities. On the top left hand side, click on Filters. Choose Closed and then select False. Click on Apply. This will filter and show only the open opportunities. Now, remove all the fields you do not want in your snapshot report. For this example, we only need Opportunity Owner, Account Name, Opportunity Name, Stage, and Expected Revenue. Now click on the Save button. Then enter the report name and again click on Save. Now, our source report is created. We will create a target, custom object. The data from the source report would be captured and stored in this object. To create this, click on Setup and then open Object Manager. In the top right corner, click on Create, and then click on Custom Object. Here, Enter the label name as Op Snapshot and the plural label as Op Snapshots. Now scroll down and click on Data Type and select Auto Number. In display format, enter Op Snapshot 40. Enter 1 in the starting number field. Scroll down and click on the Allow Report checkbox. Then click on Save. Now, we need to add fields to our custom object. For that, click on Fields and Relationships on the left-hand side. Click on New. Scroll down to select Text and then click on Next. Now enter the details for the custom field. Enter Opportunity Owner as the field label. Enter 255 as the length. Again, click on Next, Next, and finally click on Save and New. Likewise, we will create other custom fields like account name, opportunity name, and stage as well. Now we will create a field for currency. Scroll down to select your currency and click on Next. Enter Expected Revenue as the field label. Enter 18 as the length. Again, click on Next, Next, and finally click on Save and New. Here, we are done with creating our target objects. Now, we will create the reporting snapshot. For that, Go to Setup and search for Reporting Snapshot in the Quick Find box. Click on Reporting Snapshot. Then click on Continue. Now click on the new Reporting Snapshot. Enter Opportunity Snapshot as the Reporting Snapshot name. Then select a running user. Then select New Opportunity Report as the Source Report. Select Op Snapshot as the target object and click on Save. Once we have created the snapshot, 
We can now move on to field mapping to map the source report with the target object at field level. For that, click on the edit button in the field mapping section. Now map the corresponding fields from source report to op snapshot. First select account name. Then expected revenue. Opportunity name. Opportunity owner. And finally stage. Then click on save. Now, the reporting snapshot is ready to load the data into the custom object. Now for the final step, we will schedule the reporting snapshot. Click on the edit button from the schedule reporting snapshot section. Check the monthly checkbox. Enter the start date and end date. And select the preferred start time. Then click on save. Our reporting snapshot is ready to run at the specified schedule. So, that's it for this video. See you soon in the next video. Please like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to click the bell icon to get the new update. Thanks for watching.